Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Microsoft Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. It usually appears on the inside of your Outlook, whether it's the desktop Outlook or the, the, the web application, you'll be able to see it on the top right hand side. And then usually when you click on it, you'll be able to access Dynamics 365. I won't be talking about the purpose of using the Outlook application and why companies prefer to use this one over just using the web application or the mobile application. I won't be talking about the adaptability of the mobile application and this application. The purpose of this video is just to show you how to set it up. So how do you set it up? You can navigate to the Dynamics 365 settings page for the Outlook application by going to portal.office.com and then navigating to Dynamics here. Then you can click on any of the applications you have access to. It doesn't really matter. And if you are the administrator who has rights to do this setup, you will be able to see on the right hand side here, the advanced settings option. If you don't see this, you need the administrator role to be assigned to you by your administrator. So if you click on the advanced settings, navigate on the settings here and go to the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook menu. It tells you here a few options. One of them is to be able to automatically add Dynamics 365 app for Outlook to all eligible users. What this means is that if it is ticked, every time a user becomes eligible for the Outlook app, they will be automatically enabled and they will be able to see this button in Outlook. And by eligible, we mean that they have their mailbox set up inside Dynamics. That mailbox has been tested and enabled. And so they can receive and send emails and then they can see their emails inside of Dynamics. When that happens, that's one criteria. The other criteria is that they have the security role to be able to use the Dynamics app for Outlook. I'm going to start off by showing you how to give a user the security role then how to enable their mailbox, then show you that they appear here. And in this case, I'm not going to automatically add them. I'm just going to change the settings and I'll show you how they appear here and how they will be able to see the button there. So if you go to the settings, go under security and go to the users. Let's find a user who doesn't have it enabled. And, and I've chosen here Bianca. So if I click on that, I'll be able to click on Bianca. Then I click on manage roles and I need to find the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. So that's the one I need to tick that and click OK. Once I've done that, they have the security role. I'm going to click on approve email and that's going to approve the primary email, which is assigned here so that the sharing and the mailbox will, will be enabled. So if I click on that, so that's done there. The next step is going to be, as we saw the second step here is to enable the server side synchronization. And then you do that by going to settings, email configuration, mailboxes, switch to active mailboxes and find the user that you're, you want the mailbox enabled for. The way you know that it has been enabled is you can see here that it says for incoming emails, the testing has not been enabled. So it's not run, not run, not run. If I click on this, it will open for me this mailbox and will give me this, the ability to test and enable this mailbox. And part of the settings that you must make sure are correct are this server profile. I usually just apply the default email settings and it'll ask me here to say, if you apply this email settings, we'll send out a test email and I'm going to say, okay. 
and it says if you had this email set up previously for another server profile override and I'm happy with that so I just click OK and then I have to make sure the incoming email is set to server side the outgoing email is set to server side and it's okay for appointments contacts and tasks to be Dynamics 365 for Outlook or server side synchronization that's up to you I'm not going to go into detail in terms of the difference then I just have to hit save to make sure it's saved then I'm going to test and enable this mailbox and I'm going to click OK and what it has done here is that it has run it so it says incoming email status success success appointments not run because I've set this to Dynamics for Outlook so it doesn't need to run a test for me I can save and close this right now if I refresh this little thing it'll tell me that it's successful so technically this user should now be eligible for the Outlook application so if I go back to the settings and go to the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook I can now see Bianca there but because I've unticked this before like I mentioned I can have the choice of not giving her access to Outlook application or I can click there and say add app for Outlook so then it goes pending usually doesn't take very long while it does that I'm just going to add her account in here so I'm going to have the email address there I'm just going to connect so this is Bianca's email at the moment it hasn't been the button hasn't been added just yet it can take up to 15 minutes for it to be updated so we will wait and we'll come back to this so now when I switch back it seems to have been added to Outlook already so if I click back on Outlook to look at Bianca's mailbox I can see the button there already when you click on the button it will authenticate that is the first step I'm just going to expand it a little bit and there you have it you will be able to use the Outlook application and you will also be able to see the same Outlook application on your web browser inside of Outlook as well I can show you that here while we're at it so I'm just going to create a new browser window I've just logged in as Bianca at the moment and I'm going to the Outlook web application instead and if I click on any of the emails I should be able to see the Dynamics 365 button I click on the three dots there and then there is Dynamics 365 and as mentioned before it'll appear in the same way it appears on the Outlook desktop application I can pin this view so that it's always there and I can search for cases as I see fit There you have it. Thank you for watching.